Well, thousands of firefighters descended uh, upon downtown Indianapolis this week for the massive annual FDIC International Conference. And a Bloomington company is hopeful its new technology will help more of them track a dangerous job hazard. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has details. Kylie. Thank you very much, Gary. Large national studies have confirmed firefighters face a higher cancer risk. And a study right here in Indiana showed that malignant cancers are the leading cause of death for Hoosier firefighters. Bloomington-based Envisage Technologies operates training and compliance software for first responders across the country. Last year, it acquired a cloud-based software called Exposure Tracker. The software, now celebrating one year, helps firefighters track their exposure to carcinogens on their smartphone or any web-connected device. Co-founder of Exposure Tracking, Clive Savakul, and Kim Storvik, Customer Outreach Manager for Envisage Technologies, join me now to tell us more. Thank you both for coming to the show. Thanks for having us. So, Clive, you have a very interesting story. You're a firefighter, and your personal experience really opened the door to creating the software. Can you tell us, tell us about that? Yeah, so I've been in the fire service for over 20 years, and even though I've been very diligent about following best practices, wearing my gear, wearing my breathing apparatus, uh, just over my career, I started getting exposures, essentially, that, that end up having effects on my lungs and the ability to, to breathe around smoke just kind of really curtailed my ability to be in the field. And over my career, I noticed there wasn't a really good platform on being able to track your exposures. I just did it on, my, on a notepad and kept it in a file in my garage. And so they kind of bring about the concept of, of uh, exposure tracking software. Mm -hmm. And so you developed it and have now have this great tool for other firefighters to use, which it's important to mention it's free to use. You had a booth at the FDIC this week uh, getting the word out. Tell us exactly, Kim, what is the software? What can it do for firefighters? Yeah, so the software is a web-based software package, so you just navigate to firstforward.com, and that's what it's called. And exposure tracking is one part of the website. So that's the primary thing that we're talking about at FDIC is is providing this free tool to the fire service. But in addition to that, there are other tools on the site that can help with firefighter health and safety and wellness. One of those examples is um, that there are a lot of training opportunities on First Forward. So not only can firefighters track their exposures and what they respond to, but they can also then go take important training to help them learn those best practices and be as careful as they can in the field. It seems obvious that firefighters are exposed to more carcinogens, but why is it, imp why is it important for them to to be so diligent about documenting it? It's a great question, and it, it's similar to why we would go have an annual uh, physical with our doctor. It's even if we're feeling fine, going to the doctor, it creates that a level of awareness, and so we kind of know what's going on with us. And exposure tracking through First Forward gives firefighters that ability to have that level of awareness on how many fires they're going to and what kind of symptoms they might be having that might be progressive and might be a subtle cough that gets worse and worse. And so our software gives them that ability to create awareness to what they're doing. So you have these little individual pieces of data, but what is the big picture goal? What is your ultimate goal with this software? So ultimately the software isn't going to cure cancer in a firefighter. What the tool that we're providing is, is the ability to um, have the awareness that they're able to create um, change their behavior. And so throughout their career, this tool will make them be uh, more proactive with wearing their PPE, their personal protective equipment. Uh, it'll be more helpful with them as far as uh, how they go and see their, their physician when they have a symptom. And so the software itself is gonna be the tool to create awareness so they, they're more proactive um, versus being reactive once they, uh, come down with some sort of chronic illness. Change, your, change the behavior like you exactly. mentioned. Kim, you're a software company at heart, but you think uh, your company has a unique approach and that's uh, played out in this, how you approach firefighters in this way. Yeah, so what we really try to do is work hand in hand with the people that we're serving. And so we spend a lot of time talking with firefighters and learning what the tools are that they really need to be able to improve their health and safety and do their jobs better and feel like when they go on the scene, they've got all of the tools in place that they need um, to be safe. And so that's why we have things like the training and things like that to pair with the exposure tracking. And speaking with them on a regular basis allows us to continue to develop our software. It's not a stagnant system. We want to keep providing them with the tools that they need, and they're the best ones to inform us. And so we do take a pretty unique approach in terms of partnering with them and gaining that, those insights so that we are sure that we're serving the population that we intend to serve. All right. Well, Kim and Clive, thank you both for being here. Really important tool, and hopefully get the word out and more firefighters can start tracking. Thanks for Thank you. Gary, back to you.